You Kurt? Who are you? I'm Adam. You're Adam? Yeah. I expect someone so young. Is that gonna be a problem? Ron knows what he's doing. He sent me here to meet you. You must be all right. Okay. You want to get going? Yeah. This is Michael. This is all his idea. So how'd you two get Ron's number? He doesn't usually deal with kids. We spent a lot of time going to a lot of really shitty bars and nightclubs and looked around for anyone that looked like they might do this kind of thing or knew someone who would. So, you found someone that knew Ron? Yeah. We called him up and he told us all about you. He said you were in the army. Yeah, long time ago. The 
this the kind of thing you do? This thing we're paying you to do? No, I can't say that it is. When was the last time you did something like this? About 10 years ago, I killed a guy. But I didn't get paid to do it. We, we were told that you would take care of this for us. That you wouldn't let us down. I'm not gonna let you down. For the money you're paying? Just being honest with you. It's not just the one guy you killed though, right? What are you talking about? Ron, he told us about when you were in the army and what they used to call you. Ron told you that? Yeah. Is it true? Yeah, it is. You guys watch a lot of TV or what? Kurt, get you a beer? Yeah, I'll take a beer. Sit down if you want. What is all this shit? You know anything about hacking? That's computer shit, right? Yes, computer shit. We hack websites for people's financial information. With that, we buy all this stuff and sell it. Pure profit. Looks like you're doing all right to me. We were, until we started working with this guy. Poor fucking choice. What'd he do? His name is Marty. We met him a few months ago. He's good, better than most. Things were going great with the three of us working together. Made a shit load of money. We had no idea he was gonna fuck us over like he did. We left our guard down and he, he took everything. Now everybody knows about it. He's been running his fucking mouth all over town. A little cocksucker deserves what he's got coming to him. All right, what's the plan? He'll be at a bar tonight downtown. Now he's not gonna leave until after one o'clock, so you got plenty of time to get down there and wait for him. To get downtown, you can take a bus across the street. It'll take you downtown, but not far enough. Um, you'll have to walk the rest of the way, but it shouldn't take you more than half an hour. Uh, I've made directions for you for once you're off the bus.
don't you take me down there, drop me off, pick me up. Adam and I, we don't, we don't think it's a good idea for us to be in the area when it happens. You know, we could be implicated if anybody saw us. How am I supposed to get back? You just backtrack and take the bus going back in the opposite direction. It's simple. Now, the most important thing is that you bring us his license. That's how we can be sure that you've done it. You bring us his license and we'll give you your money. This is a pain in the ass. Why don't you take me down there, drop me off, and pick me up? I already told you. A lot of the people down there, especially the ones that go into that bar, have seen us with Marty in the past. I mean, if any of them saw us while he was being murdered, do you understand? I understand. But if you're parked a couple of blocks away, no one's gonna see you. Michael told you the plan. And that's how you're gonna do it. Fine. You're the boss, right? Um, Kurt, that uh, bus is gonna be going by in a few minutes. You might wanna get going. I'm gonna finish this. My number is on that. Give it a call when you're on your way back, okay? Hey, Kurt. We just want to know, how are you going to do it? Why? We just want to know. Good. You better have my money ready by the time I get back here. It will be. What's up? These fucking kids you got me dealing with, they don't know what they're doing. Calm down, man. I only spoke with the one, Adam, and he seemed all right to me. They ain't never done something like this before. What do you mean they don't know what they're doing? Got me running all over L.A. 
wrote out directions, had me take the bus down here. Won't pick me up, gotta take the bus back. I think for all this, I should be getting more than half. They got you doing all that shit? God damn, Kurt. I didn't know it was gonna go this way. Now I'll make it up to you. I can't give you more than half, but I might have a real sweet deal in the making. What is it? Don't wanna tell you about it now, it's too early. But if it works out, you're gonna be working for a long time, making the good money. Not doing more work like this, snuffing people out, is it? I really can't say anything until I get more information from the guy. But I told him we've had a lot of experience. We can handle whatever he's got. So this one you're doing now for these chicken shit kids, consider it a warm up. Because it's been a while, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I still think I should get more than half for this. Can't do it, man. That's not the deal. But in a couple months, you're not even gonna worry about five grand. That's the kind of money we're talking here. Now I gotta get going in case he calls back. I'll talk to you later, Kerr. Good luck. No, hombre, ya me tienes encabronado. Todos me están diciendo. Las calles están platicando, ¿no sabías? Ya sé que estás en las drogas. Ya sé que estás. Mira nomás. Mira qué tan flaca te has lucido. Ya ni te puedo encontrar. No, no es mi culpa. Ya me estás metiendo en peligro. Look at you. What do you want, tough guy? What's up? What the fuck? Do you want some of this? No. Vámonos. Get up. Get the fuck. Get over here. Ven conmigo. Vámonos. Levántate. Camina. Te desapareces por días. Mira, ya ni estás bañado.
You hurt bad? No. You want to call the cops or something? No. Well, let's get out of here, huh?
Are you fucking crazy? You want to die? If I don't do it, he will. You weren't supposed to do anything. You messed it all up. Now he's going to kill me when he sees me. I'm dead. I'm already dead. You were getting your ass kicked back there. What was I supposed to do? Just let him do that to you? Yes, yes, that's what he does. And now he's going to kill me because of you. You shouldn't have done anything. I can't just walk away from something like that. Uh, <laughs> Why'd you stop me from killing that son of a bitch? I would never want to see someone die like that. Maybe I should have because now he's going to come for me. You gotta get out of town. You can't stay. Where will I go? Anywhere. I don't have any money. You make it, don't you? Isn't that what you're doing down there? Eddie takes it from me. Why does he take your money? Because he doesn't want me to get high. But I need it. It's the only way I can do what he tells me. I don't like being myself when I go with those filthy bastards. He says the drugs are gonna ruin me. Maybe. Maybe then he will leave me alone when nobody wants me. That's your plan. I don't have a plan. I just don't want to. I just don't want to be used anymore. What's your name? It's Marie. I'm Kurt. What are you gonna do now, Marie? I don't know. Wherever I go, he'll find me. I wanna help. How? I don't know. I got you into this shit. What the hell was I supposed to do? Keep walking? I should have killed that asshole. I didn't want to watch someone die in front of me. You're too soft. It's them or you out here. That's how they think. But I won't be one of them. You don't belong here. You gotta get out of here. I got somewhere I gotta be. Come on. You're gonna be okay once I leave? I'll stay here. He knows you live here? Yes, but he doesn't know the apartment. The building is large, he won't find me. Wish I could do something.
buy some cash and put you on a bus. You can stay here. If Eddie comes back, you will protect me. I can't. Then you shouldn't worry about me. There's nothing you can do. When you get some money, you need to use it to get out of town. You understand? I've never left the city. Now you've got to. You said you were tired of getting used, right? If you don't change it, it's never going to. This is where I live. Thanks for walking me home. You're gonna do what I said, right? Not spend your money on drugs and get out of here. Okay, I will. I wish I hadn't gotten you into this. I thought I was fucking doing something good. I'll be okay. Just be safe. Ron. Is this a good time? I'm still on my way there. I can talk. All right, man. I got some good news for you. I heard back about this new job. It's gonna happen, Kurt. Best thing that's come to us in a long time. What is it? So there's this guy in Texas who got a hold of me through Will. You know Will, he's a cop in Houston. So this guy, his name's Judd works as a bodyguard for this Mexican executive. Executive of some big communication company down there. The guy's pretty loaded. Now this executive needs to go back to Mexico, but he wants protection with him. Because things are crazy down there. Rich people are getting kidnapped all the time by the cartels and then held for ransom. So Judd wants to hire some guys to go down there with him, help protect this rich Mexican guy, but only wants guys with military backgrounds. See where I'm going with this? There could potentially be some heavy shit. Or it could be us just sitting on our asses making sure the rich guy's safe. Either way, the pay is killer. 
I didn't think it was going to be this big. What's wrong with that? It means you'll be working for months. No more scraping by. How much money? 20 grand a month is what you'll be making. Plus, they're putting us up in a house. How's that sound? Yeah, that's a lot of money. Goddamn right it is. We'll be down there for at least three months, I was told. I'm going too. Judd wants me to bring some others down with us, and I know of a few young guys who'd be up for this. So I had a thought. You could be in charge of the other guys. Train them for combat and shit. Thought he only wanted people who served. Why do they need training? I mean, you and me were in the army. I'll tell him the younger guys were too. He won't look into it. I doubt it. No, I'm not going down to Mexico to get shot at. I'm gonna take some time off after this one. Kurt, you'd be stupid to pass up on something like this. Now, how long do you think the five grand you get from this one's gonna last? Think about it. Why'd you tell these kids what they used to call me? What's that? The kids. They knew my nickname from the army. Why'd you tell them that? So I told them, what's the big deal? I don't like hearing about it. Come on, man. Now, you know how it is. You gotta persuade people. Now, these kids, they got a lot of cash that we need. And they want to know that you're the real deal. So I told them about it. You tell them how I got it? Yes, I did. And I wouldn't have if I didn't think it would help. But look, we got the job. I think it did help. Now look, I'm sorry for telling them, but hey, this is a lot of money. You there? You're wrong if you think I want to make a living killing. You got anything else? Let me know. I've been trying to tell you. We're just going to be making sure this guy's safe. We could get down there and never fire a shot. Who knows? But for this kind of money, you got to take a chance. Look, why don't you take off for a while? I still got to work out some shit with this guy. It's going to be a few weeks before he starts moving. So why don't you get out of Palmdale for a week or two? Relax. Spend some of that cash. Then I'll call you when the deal's ready, and we can start making some real money. How's that? Yeah. All right. This is going to work out, man. You got nothing to worry about. Now give me a call when you're on the train back here. See you.
Whoa, buddy. You're Marty? Yeah, who's asking? You scream, and I'm gonna cut you up. Okay, okay, I won't. What do you want? I don't know. Adam and Michael. What? You know them, don't you? Yeah, what do they have to do with you? They paid me to kill you. What? You took their money, right? I'm not fucking around! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I took their money. You're gonna give me that. You're buying back your life, you understand? <laughs> I'm gonna let you live. But if you try to get away from me, you'll be sorry. Okay. 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 Where's your car? It's over there. Go. Bring that out of there slowly. What, it's just a shoe? Chill, all right, I wasn't gonna do anything. Oh, shit. It's my gun now. Get up. Where's the money? <laughs> Open it.
How much is here? A little over 90,000. How much they paying you to kill me? 10. 10 grand? I just emptied their accounts a month ago. Do you have any idea how hard it is to make 10 grand in that amount of time? Oh my God, they're really trying to kill me. How long did it take them to make this much? Two years. I'd kill you. It's your friend. Why'd you take it from him? Can't trust anyone. Michael and Adam thought that just because we were working together, that I wouldn't go snooping around their accounts. And when I saw all that fucking money, man, I didn't hesitate. I mean, we do this all the time to other people. What makes, what makes them so special? You know what, like we're friends? <laughs> go fuck yourself. That's why I keep mine in cash. Because if it's online, it's there for the taking. I appreciate you keeping it in cash. I can't believe those two faggots would pull something like this. Hiring you? <laughs> it surprised me, really. Those two are some uptight pussies. How long till we get there? I don't know, like another 10 minutes. Hey man, let me, let me ask you something. What? Those two assholes were paying you 10 grand to snuff me out. And you just got over 90,000 from me. You were buying your life, remember? Yeah, <laughs> and I'll take that. But those two are gonna keep coming after me for what I did. You know, they're not gonna stop. And they're only gonna get more desperate, you know? So why don't you consider that payment to go and do them? Why the fuck would I do that? I've got the money. Come on, man. That's a lot of fucking cash. I mean, just go over there and then at least fuck them up, you know? Do me that one favor. Come on, man. You took my piece, too. You're leaving me with nothing here. Shut up. This is some fucked up shit. So you gonna use my gun? Pistol whoop them? You know, I got a crowbar in the back. Give me your license. Why? They won't let me in if I don't show it to them. That was the deal. You're taking everything from me. What, do you want my car too? You want me to do this or not? I'm 
Those not expire soon anyway. Hey, I never got your name. Hey, it's me. I'm down here. You were supposed to call when you're on your way back. What took so long? I forgot. Open the door. Any problems? No, it was easy. He had a tiny neck, snapped like a chicken. Whoa. I'll take my money now and be on my way. Call Marty's phone. Why? Yeah, why? And that's not enough proof for you? No, it's not. Call Marty's phone, Michael. asking for it. He answered. Hello? Who's there? Who's there? Hello. No, that's not Marty's phone anymore. What was it like? Killing him. I wouldn't know. What the fuck does that mean? Shit! That means Marty's still alive. And he paid me all that money to come up here and kill you. And I'm gonna use this gun he gave me to do it. Because that's what you do, right? You're the expert. Right? No, please, please. Please, don't. I'd blow your head off for free, you little asshole. No. You two stay out of trouble. This is the address sir, you gave me. Wait here. Marie. It's Kurt. Kurt? What are you doing here? Did he come here? No, but he's been calling and making threats. He says terrible things. I'm, I'm so God afraid. Damn it. I... Listen, I'm going to get you out of here. That's why I came back. Out of here? What are you talking about? I'm going to get on a bus and get the hell out of here. You need to come with me. 
I fucked things up for you real bad, and I want to make it right. Earlier, I couldn't do anything. But now I can. You need to come with me. Do you want me to just leave right now? There's no telling when that son of a bitch is going to come looking for you. I'm not going to wait around for that. No. It won't do any good. What do you mean? You shouldn't have come back. You don't know me. You take all the blame for all this and maybe it would have happened with or without you. Maybe I am doomed. So then what difference would it make where I go? I don't know what the hell you're talking about or why, but I've already saved your life once tonight. Remember? You were gonna jump? I know what it's like to live without hope. You get used to it. I've done so many things I can't change. Terrible things. I started to just wish I'd die. That something would come along and just take me out. And tonight I made it worse for you. Right now I know that I've got to do this. I need to fix what I've gotten you into. Things are gonna be different, Marie. I swear it. Let me do this one right thing. How many times can you save my life? As many as I need to. You save mine. I'll explain later. You need to start packing your things. Let's get the hell out of here before Eddie shows up. Will you give me 10 minutes? Where to now, sir? Bus station. You've got to get your things, don't you? Nothing worth going back for. Here, hold this. My God, where did you get all this? Yeah. Those two kids called me saying you broke the deal. They said Marty's still alive, and you pulled a gun on him. Is that true? Stop here for a second.
Kirk, what the hell is going on? Answer me. Did you fuck this up? What'd you do that for? Don't need it. We got a long bus ride ahead of us. I'll tell you all about it. Where are we gonna go? Anywhere we want. <laughs>